So, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, today, exactly 56 minutes ago while I'm recording this video, they released the recon mode on the EU server, what you're able to accept uh, via clicking this icon over here, right from the battle uh, button, and uh, simply picking recon mode, exploring new maps in 15 versus 15 combat, tier, eights, uh, to, tier 8 to tier 10 vehicles only. And uh, this is a mode... Uh, Nice, quite a nice mode actually if you are bored of the older maps because this is basically like playing random battles only on six new maps. Canyon, Airship Yard, Far East, Anikievka, Aguila and Glostertal. Yes, those are the maps. Uh, three of the maps over here are older ones from the previous recon mission which have been reworked a bit and uh, those three are completely brand new maps and uh, you know, this is like playing random battles uh, because you're able to complete your daily missions, able to earn battle pass points, even mark of excellence, credits, experience, you know, bonds, all those things are over here. The only things which are not working in this mode are the tour of duty points and also the personal missions, right? Uh, but... Uh, you know, if you are bored of the old maps and want uh, something else, uh, then for two weeks we are able to play uh, on those maps, uh, which is, you know, quite a nice uh, difference. So Canyon, they did some reworks in the middle, adding some more bushes and cover for the light tanks uh, over here, tank destroyers, I believe. Uh, received her extra positions uh, on airship yard. They completely reworked the east part of the map in Far East. They tuned the middle a bit and... Uh, some housing, uh, I think they, they made some houses bigger, if I'm not mistaken, or repositioned them. And on those maps, well, those are completely new maps, and hopefully we're able to test them out. Uh, I'm going to play a couple battles together with you in this video with some light tanks, uh, maybe, maybe something else as well. So, let's simply dive into the action and let's see which maps we get and um, let's explore those maps a bit. This one is Aguila. And this is one of the brand new maps, and it looks very interesting, uh, to say the least. Now, I remember on this map, there is a very key position up there. Like, if you're able to take that, you're able to counter enemies uh, on, on that line, in the sniping line. A lot of tank destroyers as well, plus we have the city area, which is very playable as well. A lot of room up over there. EBR-90, EBR-105. Well, this tank has plus one degrees of gun depression in the rear. Now let's simply cruise around. I don't want to, I don't want to, like go into light tank one versus one fight because usually this ends up trading light tanks uh, at the best case. Uh, so let's explore this part a bit. Uh, it's good to see that we are sending couple tanks up here at least. STB one over there. Our EBR has already been hit. There is EBR 90, EBR 105 as well. Quickly loaded in high explosive, but missed my shot. And our EBR 105 is going down. Already, this guy is quite out of position, I have to say. And then EBR is exploring. Nice, high explosive penetration. And EBR is exploring the city right now. There is STB 1. Let's see, are we able to peek something? Are we able to spot something from here? D100 LT. There is STB1, quick shot in, and D28 is also going up. Maybe we're able to nail that D28 as well. Nope, quick shot in. I don't want to receive any shots. So this is uh, actually quite interesting. Some houses in the middle. And then EBR 105 is over here. It's quite crazy, right? How fast those guys are able to cover the ground from city without getting spotted to our position and uh, we took the high ground which is very beautiful to see there is k91 as well okay so we have some windows to shoot where we're able to shoot at enemy tanks who are trying to get up the hill okay like that window up over there sadly accuracy is not working as i would like it to work right now K91 was able to get up here. Scorpion as well. This is quite a nice position, actually, to counter the enemy bush. Oh, come on, gun now. Can you please behave a bit more, gun? That guy should be so dead. Nope, K91 up here. 
scorpion may be. I am simply missing so many shots. That scorpion is trying to run away and was able to run away. Wow. Well, maybe some bad marksmanship as well, but uh, well, RNG with the gun, with the shots, was not the best either. Okay, are we able to spot any snipers from here? No, but we are getting the assistance from the scorpion, which is also good to see. Yep, scorpion is down. Scorpion is definitely dead ski. K91 up here. Nice, that should be our spot. Okay, so on this map, uh, imagine this map not uh, being filled with light tanks. Uh, you actually have a lot of light tank work to do over here. A lot of active and passive scouting as well. I would say so. Uh-huh. And I haven't even reached the city yet. I would like to actually reach the city as well. Although, you know, with light tanks, how much do you have to do in the city? Not much. And we are still uh, trying to perform as uh, much as possible because I'm not super far off from third mark in this tank. That was almost a hit, guys. PBR and K91. Do they have any tanks not spotted? SDRV S1 is the only tank who has never been spotted in this. Nice, okay. There is WZ. WZ as well. I'm going to fix my gas tank. Here goes another tank. I received a heat run from STB. And I do not want to do that again. Maybe I can move up a bit closer. Like if we are able to flank that STB somehow, that would be quite a nice, quite a neat thing. Aha, uh -huh, is there VS1 spotted up here? <coughs> So yeah, you can see a lot of uh, actually passive scouting pushes, uh, which also are very good for... That should be my blind assistance. Uh, which is also good for light tanks. Many bushes up here. Okay, so enemy team did win the city. Good. Very good. That shot does put enemy BR90 on one shot. Well, that was a hit. Definitely not going to run you. I'm going to manual aim it in because I already received the shot. There was no reason to rush it. Manual aim also is better. Always is better. Absolutely no info about the heavy tanks. Okay, at least we are in the city. We made it into the city to explore it a bit. I remember it had a lot of uh, the rain differences, height differences. And still freaking no idea about the heavy tanks. Did they all go back or something? Okay, phase one is in the middle. Phase one at least has been spotted, but where is E75? They have D100 LT still alive. With full hit points as well, according to the last information. This will be tough. This will be tough battle to win. Okay, we are not dropping marks at least. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah, T100. Most likely is going to get our RT. Nice. High explosive pen. Is the 100 LT. And there is E75 as well. They just have too many tanks left. And phase one was able to get me. 
Yep, anyway, too many tanks left, uh, but Aguila, you know, what do you think about that? Let me know. Uh, we are going to play a couple more battles, maybe we'll uh, see this map again, but you know, the middle uh, seems to be where the light tanks are going to uh, perform, of course, uh, city for the heavy tanks and the high ground for the medium tanks, most likely, or for uh, very good hull down tanks, uh, up there, good snipers, what not. But you know, overall, what did you get? Like over 4,000 combined, 4 point, let's say 4,000 combined not bad could be worse five kills as well uh, so this was aquila now let me simply jump into the next vehicle and let's see what we get and next up i decided to pick tvp and we get canyon which we have already had in the testing as i said before with some reworks in the middle if i remember and uh, this canyon honestly as much as I have played it, it feels to be like mines where taking the middle hill is very, very freaking important. Uh, so I'm not going to rush up there because I do not know all the angles right now. But uh, let's see. Are we able to spot something or maybe, you know, together with someone else? Uh, we can go up here. Okay, where is the entry? D100. Okay, those shots were very close, actually, being hit. And there is IS-7 as well. STB. Let's quickly pull back. And let's go for the reload now. So a lot more cover. Uh -huh. So this is what they did. They made this entire area. We didn't have before. With cover. And what not. Dude, we should be able to... Oh yeah, this position is very strong. Countering everyone who is trying to go up the hill. Especially with medium tanks. Look at that. We should be able to flip that guy. Yes. Three out of four. Well, we did hit every single shot at least. The last one had to go to the, you know, very top of the turret or something. And artillery is always ready to send some regards. Nothing new over here. STB. Alright, STB. Is this rock providing me enough cover? If I want to punish that STB now. That is the question. Or is STB going up here and I'm able to flank this guy from another angle? Let's investigate. This is what we shoot too on those new maps, right? D57, 268, 268 up on the hill. Nope, I wasn't fast enough backing away. Okay, I take two hits out of three. Okay, so they made this middle more interesting to play at least. Has to be spotted. Sadly, I wasn't reloaded. If I was reloaded, easy tracking. Easy tracking, most likely double tracking. And farm from the teammates, hopefully. There is the IS-7 we are looking for. How do I bounce off two shots, dude? How do I bounce off two shots? We have D100LT next to us as well. Okay, we're able to come over here now. We're getting some juicy assistance. Those were some clean shots into IS-7. If the destiny bit starts going away... To the other side, we are going to execute that guy. Just like that. All we needed was a little bit of a distraction. Okay, tracking. Beautiful. Okay, 84. <clears throat> we were not able to go uh, up the hill, but right now I would say this is not necessary anymore. Artillery, hello once again. Yes, I still love you as well. Luckily I'm reloading, so this guy was simply, you know, keeping me calm over here. Waiting for my reload. And then we are able to go in. Well, TVP up there. I didn't see DVP camping. Well, it is what it is, guys. I was way too greedy. I was way too greedy. Of course, they could have farmed, uh, farmed more damage over here, but you know, I take. What is that? 5,000? Yes, slightly over 5,000 combined on uh, Canyon map. 
uh, middle made uh, I would say a bit more interesting to play. Uh, you have so many different angles to look out for as well. You know, you're able to be sneaky like uh, like the uh, middle. Uh, where was that? Can I see that? Like this position? Yeah, right over here. You can be very sneaky actually with some tank, uh, some light tanks like Manticore or ELC or something like that. You can be sneaky, get behind them or spot your snipers uh, and something like that. Uh, many sniping positions uh, without uh, cover actually. Uh, so yeah, you know, this is Canyon, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's pick another vehicle and let's jump into another battle. And uh, next up we get Airship Yard. This is the map once again, what we have seen. As I said before, and uh, this position, I remember, was very strong early. Position to just deal damage. Yes, spot something and to deal damage as well on the top of that. Beautiful. And uh, they completely changed that, that part of the map. If you remember, there was a railroad before. They completely removed that now. And um, they built something else. Something completely different up here. EBR. EBR up here. Okay, this is a very good spotting position, actually. Just like that, spotting and damaging position. We were able to take a shot without getting spotted. Chieftain up here. Leopard 1 is going to follow that guy from the other side. Flying shot. Nope. Never lucky. Well, it was kind of a prediction shot, right? This push right now is providing me good enough cover. So many rocks, like so much to learn about all the new maps all the time, like where are the snipey rocks, where are people most likely camping in, you know, at, uh, rather, like which bushes are the most dangerous bushes, which bushes should we blind fire, and so on, so on, so on, you know, always a lot of things to learn. Our EBR sadly is going to suicide, so sadly our EBR is on a suicide mission already. We are able to put actually quite a free shot into this AMX 13 105. Yes, EBR is dead. <coughs> Not very useful guy. Not very useful teammate. And we are losing this battle 1 to 5. Uh, well, at least it is going to be fast, right? At least it is going to be a fast battle. We are able to showcase more maps because of that. Because I do not want to make this video like 10 hours long episode. I would like to showcase as many maps as possible. And losing this 1 to 6 is one way to do it, really. This is one way to do it. Alright. AMX is back there. I don't even know. I don't even know where I should go. Chieftain completely dominated that part. Enemy heavy tanks are kind of dominating the other side. Let's see. Alright, we took out another one. Who is that? Leopard up here. Okay, this is quite a nice spotting push. Nice! Chieftain taken out, guys. This is half a victory. This is half the victory already. And now we're back. And another one bites the dust. But sadly, they simply have too many of them. Oh, shit. Well, that STB-1. I am not going to lie, that STB-1 was a big, big, fat surprise. That guy was a big, fat surprise. Go down. Go down. No penetration. 99 damage from the EBR. And here is STB as well. 4 to 13, most likely this is going to be 4 to 15. Yes, it is. This was Airship Yard, rework map, but you know, team balance is still the same. Next vehicle, next map. And by the way, we did top damage in our team with uh, this setup. Absolutely no fireball boosting. Right. Well, it turns out tier 9s have very long queue times. I was sitting over there for close to 4 minutes actually to get the battle. But you know, this is very beautiful matchmaking. Full tier 9s on another brand new map, any Kievka. And uh, let's see what is going on over there. So, or over here. So, this is the map uh, with the uh, train station back there. I think that one. Vaxel's uh, Vaxel train station, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to be up over there in the hull down position. I may lose some hit points going up here because they already have Shar in the position. 
Uh, luckily, Shar is pulling back. And uh, this position right over here should be very, very juicy for me, especially for my hull down action. And I decided today, Kampfpanzer 50T for my next battle. And there is Patton and Leopard PTA as well. Hello, Leopard PTA. Hello, Patton. Shar Futura over here. Oh boy! Now this position is strong, guys. I can already tell you that this position is very strong. At least, you know, in the testing phase, where uh, too many people do not know exactly what to do up over here. And let's punish this uh, Shar a bit, just like this. Quick shots in. Wait a minute, they have so many tanks up here. This is not even funny, I have to keep my gun busy as fast and as much as possible because otherwise soon we are simply going to be overrun. Oh my. Oh my! This is busy area over here. I took absolutely the best, the most perfect vehicle for this position it seems. Quick shot in. Ricochet sadly. Now I hope that at least my me being over here is holding them back a bit. That WZ was firing primo round, so I have to be very careful. Nice quick shot in. Shar is leaving. WZ is not leaving yet. There is enemy Kampfpanzer and Leopard PJ as well. I was taking way too much damage. Dude, there are so many enemies. I feel like if we count all the enemy tanks over here, it's at least 10, right? 10 tanks out of 15 in one position. I don't know, this is not very good for the map design. Point of view, you know. If one position is going to be so dominant. Okay. I don't know if I'm in the most perfect position either. Maybe there is even better hull down position to be in. Maybe even better hull down position to be in. Like all the way up there maybe? That could be, yeah. That could be maybe even better. <coughs> 4 point three thousand pounds by the way. 4.3k bounced. Very close hitting their weak spots. At least we we halted their attack, right? Oh come on, gun now. You were you were behaving so nicely before. What the hell happened? What the hell happened, gun? Actually. There we go. Holy moly, it took some time. I have to be fast, quick and fast. With my snapshot is and another one by the dust. Okay. Not too many tanks left. This position is strong, guys. This position is freakishly strong. Especially if you have a hull down tank. Like we were holding back the bush early on, I would say. Simply because we were up here. We were holding it back solo. It felt like it at least. And look at score as well. 5.5k combined. Like nothing. I'm not able to hit any snapshots, buddy. Okay, Kunze gets that guy. And we get some assistance at least. Nothing! Well, 6,000 combined, right? It's hooray! Yay! But so many shots missed. I don't know, maybe bad shooting by me. Let's play one more, guys. One more rank, one more map. Hmm, 6.5 combined. Not bad. And nice, in the final battle with Object 260, we are once again getting Aguila. And let's investigate this city area over here or this town part of the map. Because, you know, we were not able to play over here that much before. Uh, so let's try to do that versus three Grunvans. And there are so many Grunvans positions actually where this, uh, like that tank can be so annoying and super hull down and whatnot. There is EBR. As you know, always EBR. EBR players are just cruising around, being annoying, whatnot. FE405 up here as well. I don't know how sneaky I can be over here or how annoying I can be. 
over here just waiting you know while the enemy tanks are getting into the city as well there is EBR who was not able to spot me let's actually pull back okay let's pull back and let's go deep into the city then and um, I decided to pick 260, you know, because why not, guys? Why not uh, every single battle with a different vehicle as well? Showcasing different vehicles, different tanks, whatnot. And boom, quick shot into the lower plate. No penetration. Artillery. Yep, there is one ground, one position, for example, already. Like, what are we going to do with that guy? Not very much, honestly speaking. Maybe into the side of that... 122, second 261 is also shooting at us. This is so weird, you know. Two ground ones, hello? No, 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 no. No, 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 So stupid. So stupid. Okay, so this is... The city part will be very uneventful, I would say so, overall. Right. Boom. 501, beautiful high roll. Just full aiming it in, giving it maximum chances to hit. Okay, good farm. Artillery says hello once again. No damage done though. Zero damage actually. Zero damage. Done! Apparently artillery lowers also your penetration. That was the first penetration. Nice, 460. Slowly but steadily. Oh boy. Yep, the only shot they bounced was the artillery shot. That 705 is not enjoying life. Right now. Constantly being stunned, damaged by artilleries. Dude, what the hell are we able to do? All the ground ones are over here. Are we actually able to do even anything? Maybe if we're maybe if we push up a bit, guys. Maybe if we do push up like this. You know, just let's let's take it to their home. Let's take it to their home. Maybe then we're able to do something. E100. Beacon E100. Nope. Not even close where I wanted to hit that shot. Okay. Knowing the beacon reload time helps, right? Can I be held down? Is this, guy, is this guy using heat or not? Well, this guy is using heat. One twenty-one. APCR as a standard round can have issues. Definitely. I don't have intuition, so let's load in heat for the turret. No point making it harder for ourselves, right? Come on, take the shot, buddy. Take the shot, big boy. Come on now. No? Good. Good. Good, very good. At least we made that guy make a little mistake. E100 over there. 72 winning. East front one coming in. E100 coming in, yes. All of those E100s are using the new skin as well, which is quite cool. You know, can't say anything bad about that. It is kind of neat. We need our tanks to push up a bit more. Turret and here she blows and one final grunt left. So, ladies and gentlemen, we played quite a lot of battles actually on the new maps in the 
recon mode good tracking in the recon mode let me know what you think about that are you going to play it as well you know something else uh, a uh, little break from the random battles from the old maps you know play it have fun you know let me know what you think about all of that ladies and gentlemen i thank you so much for tuning in and i'll get you next time with uh, something else stay beautiful stay sexy stay naked take care and bye